to get your hands on GTA 5 shark cards for absolutely free whenever you want to, go and check out at Bounty.net. I will leave a link in the description below and use my invite code NPF for a bonus. If we delete Jay Norris's phone before he can even use it, how is he going to blow himself up? I'm going to see if I can delete the phone. I will basically use my object spooner, as you can see. For example, this cone is the phone. I can move it about. I can do whatever I want to. Or if I really wanted to, if I really wanted to be that bad, I could delete it. There's the prototype. Okay, Michael's installing it. Miscellaneous options. Clear area. That, that's going to do a lot of damage, but... Hey! Okay, so we delete the case. So the case is no more. So therefore, the phone is no more. The bag is no more. All right, so there's Tracy. Tracy, move. Move, Tracy. Move, Tracy. Get out. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. No way! No way! To get your hands on an Xbox One or a PlayStation 4, click the link in the description below to my huge giveaway. Good luck and enjoy. Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Nort, and today, Lester's here. This is, like, the first time we've seen Lester for a while on this channel. What we're gonna do today, though, guys, is play the mission Friend Request, because I want to see if we can save Jay Norris. Now, for those of you guys who aren't quite familiar with this series, it's basically where we use our mod menu to see if we can save inevitable deaths in GTA 5. So, for those of you guys who don't quite know how Jay Norris dies, I'm gonna quickly play a clip now, so you guys will uh, recognize this death scene, and it'll just kind of refresh in your mind and stuff so I will play the clip now and then I'll get into my plans a small personal computer oh, hold on a second I think someone's trying to dock with me hello oh Get ah, oh Jesus whoa no, 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 Les no. <laughs> Lester is so mad right now oh my gosh he's like no you need to do this now <laughs> It's amazing looking at Lester when he's mad. I'm pretty sure all of us love Lester when he's mad. He's just so funny to watch. Anyway, what we're going to do, I think the best thing we're going to do is delete... <laughs> Lester's so nervous right now. What we're gonna do today though guys is see if we can delete the phone So when Jay Norris goes to pick it up, he won't actually have the phone with him So maybe there'll be like an alternative version of this mission because we've deleted his phone. Where's my car? I think we'll just go for this one. We'll go for this car right now So yeah, I'm gonna see if I can delete the phone So when we put the bomb into it, I'm just gonna delete it straight away using my objects uh, spooner For example, this cone is the phone. Just pretend this cone is the phone so I can move it about I can do whatever I want to or if I really wanted to if I really wanted to be that bad I could delete it so that's exactly what we're gonna do today with uh, Jay's phone and if that doesn't work then I'm gonna have to think of some new tricks up my sleeve but to be honest I think we might be able to save him and I think it'll be really interesting to see what happens when we do so if you guys do go on to enjoy today's episode be sure to smash that thumbs up button it would of course be greatly appreciated where are you going where are you going let's just <laughs> I'm such a psycho. So yeah, guys, if we get 5,000 likes or something, that would be amazing. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's just try and go for our goal of 5,000 likes and let's carry on with this. So we've got Mikey. Oh, don't die. I gotta. Go to, I think I gotta go to a clothes store. That's like the first thing we gotta do. Go to a clothes store and get dressed. So, oh, we gotta go there. Okay, so let me get my radar on so I can actually see where I'm going right now. And yes, guys, I've got my coffee with me. Once again, it's making another appearance on this channel. Do not be surprised if you see me shout or jump around in this room because uh, this is like my third cup of coffee today. And it's only like the morning still, so... Yeah. For those of you guys who want to know exactly what mod menu I use, I see so many comments in my videos. We use menu. Uh, it's M-E-N-Y-O-O. -O. Uh, that's how you spell it. Just type it in on Google. It's like one of the most popular mod menus out there. Everyone uses it. Um, and yeah, in my opinion, it's just the most simple one to use. So we're at the clothes store now and let's just go. Let's do this. To be honest, I think white suits you, Michael. I think white would definitely suit you. I think that's a little bit too dark for you. Definitely too dark. Nah, that's definitely not you. I mean, this looks kind of nice, but we got to go for a happy Michael. So let's go for a white. <laughs> He's like, what? Why this? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so I've, I've given you a white, Michael. I'm also going to see if I can delete your backpack. Is that possible? Or will I just end up... Oh. Nope, that's Michael. Okay, we can't delete his backpack. So yeah, this is like one of the first ever missions in GTA 5. In case you guys are wondering. So I'm pretty sure the majority of us have played this. And it is one of the most gruesome death scenes. Like, there's some really gruesome death scenes in GTA 5. But even when I was playing through campaign for the very first time, I was not expecting his entire head to explode. Uh, and I'm pretty sure the majority of you guys weren't expecting something as gruesome as that. But, uh, yeah, it is. Hey, Life Invader. Okay, cool. Do 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 do. Michael obviously hates this guy. I want to explore everything around here. So let me just slow down time. Alright, so let's check out what's around here. Oh, whoa, okay. So there's the underground 
station there. There's nothing there. Okay, I don't think there's anything. Oh, wait. Whoa. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so there's actually like a room down here. Did any of you guys know that? There's a room down here. I had no idea. That's so cool. Is there anything down here? No, nothing down there. So there's actually a room literally right down there. Can I go? I just love exploring these places, though. Oh, he's the guy we saw in Tracy's room. Oh, buddy, you've been busted, mate. You've been busted. Okay, he's the guy in Tracy's room. I'm not too sure if you uh, saw my what's behind Tracy's door video, but he was the guy in the room. I swear he was. Oh, we can go in here. Oh, these guys are doing something, uh, privacy live tomorrow, no privacy, no lies, data is there to be abused, <laughs> they crossed out abused, shared, it's like data is there to be abused, no we can't have abused, let's put shared, remember we aren't ripping them off if they don't read the terms and conditions, <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so cool, what is this guy doing, that guy's Okay, that's so awesome. Let's delete their yoga balls. They don't have time to play. Oh, we got the executives. They all look very, uh, very happy, very chill. We got some more. <laughs> very happy, very happy indeed. Yeah, let's just go through this um, and we'll see if we can delete the phone. All right, so Michael has just deleted all the viruses from his computer. And here we go. This is the prototype. So Michael's just being shown to the room of the prototype. So we're going to go over there now, and then we're going to see if we can delete the phone. Well, don't mind me, guys. I'm just going to chill here. How's it going? I hope everyone's having an awesome day. Keep up the good work. Can we kill them? There's the prototype. Okay, Michael's installing it. Okay, install the prototype. There we go. It's installed. It's installed. And now, exit the building. Okay, first off, before we do that, I'm going to delete this case. I'm going to delete all the objects around me. If we go on to miscellaneous options, and then we can do clear area. That, that's going to do a lot of damage, but... Hey! Okay, so we deleted the case. Everything's been... <laughs> Everything has been deleted within, like, a kilometer. Okay, so we deleted the case. So the case is no more. So therefore, the phone is no more. The bag is no more. Everything is no more. So everything has now been deleted. So let's just exit this place. Everyone has had all their objects deleted, though. So I do kind of feel sorry for them, <laughs> including this guy. He's lost his chair and his computer. But screw him. Let's just carry on going. Nothing's happened here, guys. Nothing's happened here. We deleted the phone. So they shouldn't have the phone. My GTA crashed. How did... What? How did it... How did that just crash? Okay, so we're back at the Life Invader office. And, uh, yeah. I'm gonna try and not crash my game this time. I think I've crashed my game more times than I've even loaded up my game. Because I'm terrible when I look after GTA 5 PC. I do so many stupid things to this game that the entire game just crashes on me like every single day so yeah hopefully this won't crash my game this time but uh i'm pretty sure deleting every single object within like a third of a kilometer radius is a very bad idea and it was a very bad idea so what we're going to do now is go back through this but i'm going to see if i can delete the case before we fit the prototype and then if it's still there afterwards i'm going to delete every single object within like a 10 meter radius so it doesn't completely break the entire game and hopefully that will work I'm going to bring this all the way down, all the way down, all the way down to about 20. So we'll only delete stuff within the Life Invader office. I think, I think that's fair. So if we do everything. There we go. Everything has now been deleted within that radius. So let's go back inside and let's see what happens. Oh. Oh, the box is still there. So the box kind of replaces itself. So we'll delete it again afterwards. So... Let's skip through that. Oh, wait, the box is gone. Oh, okay, so the box wasn't there in the end. Oh, that's so weird. Okay, let me just delete everything again, though, just to double check. But it was only there in the cutscene, and then it disappeared again. So delete everything. There we go. Everything is now definitely gone. We've deleted even the prototype, which is uh, due to explode in his face. My GTA crashed again. Are we not allowed to delete the prototype? What is wrong with this? I've got you the same outfit, Michael. You can't get away from this outfit, buddy. Maybe that's why the game's crashing. He just hates the white cargo pants. Maybe that's why. <laughs> we have to go inside first to fit the prototype, at least. So let's just skip this cutscene and fit the prototype. And then we're going to, like, chill in here just for a little bit. And then we're going to clear the area. So miscellaneous options. Uh, clear area. And we're going to go all the way down to... This is it. This is our little bubble. Okay, so this should definitely work. Clear everything in the area. 
Do not crash the game now, Rockstar. The prototype has been deleted. Please don't crash the game on me. Please don't do this to me. We're going to walk out normally. Nothing's happened. Nothing's happened here, guys. Everything is still good. Everything's still good. A, the game has not crashed. So I'm going to go into my car. Uh, but hopefully, by the end of this video, we should be able to save him. So let's just keep going. Oh, okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good, guys. We're good. All right. So get out of the car. All right. So there's Tracy. Tracy, move. Move, Tracy. Move, Tracy. Get out. <laughs> get out. Get out, Tracy. Tough. Get out. <laughs> get out. Give me the remote. Give me the remote. Leave. <laughs> Michael, you're such a savage, buddy. Anything interesting here? Mimes on fire. What? What is this? What? 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 That's so weird. Most racist guy in America. This is such a terrible show. All right, hopefully this should save him. Hopefully it should. He's not actually at the theater. So in case you guys are wondering whether he's at the theater, no, he's not at the theater. Let's just see what happens if we don't call it. So we just save him straight away because obviously he's got the prototype. So this didn't actually work. I haven't done this part before. I, I haven't like sat here and not phoned him. I think everyone has just phoned him because that's what you do. Let's see what happens if we don't phone him because obviously this will save him. But I want to see how the mission kind of ends. It's going to say, like, mission failed, you didn't kill him in time, but I'm interested to see what the alternative cutscene is. At around this point in my presentation, there was meant to be a call from my product team to introduce the device. <laughs> but we're experiencing some technical difficulties. I hate to keep you waiting any longer, but trust me, it's worth it. And don't worry, I will fire several people for this. <laughs> And we saved him, but yeah. Oh, he threw the phone on the floor. Jay is mad. Oh, miscellaneous options. Let's see if massacre mode works on him. I wonder if massacre mode will. Let me get a fireworks ahoy. Massacre mode. Jump around mode. It doesn't work on them whatsoever, so we can't even use our miscellaneous options for this. EMP mode. And the TV is still on. Okay, so the TV still plays, even though we're in EMP mode. You can't do anything to what we're seeing on the TV. Oh. Oh, okay. TV. Ooh. Oh, we can change the TV. I had no idea you could do that. Okay, so this is the Life Invader one. Life Invader explosion. Oh, wait. I've thought of a really cool idea. Okay, what if we carry on with this mission? I think we have failed this. Let me kill Michael first. We failed this because we completely screwed it up. What we're going to do is we're going to blow up the phone and play this at the exact same time. So when the phone ends up blowing up, he should come back on and we should be able to save him. Let's see if that works. This is so difficult because we have to phone at the same time. Okay, three, two, one. I called him. Okay, change. Oh! We didn't see him explode, and he's still there. Signal- Wait, whoa, 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 no, 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 no. Life Invader. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh, we are gonna line this up. We are gonna line this up, guys. Technically, we didn't see him die. We did not see him die. Yeah, hopefully this will work. What I'm gonna do instead of just changing it once, I'm just going to spam, and I'm gonna spam on the keyboard, so hopefully it overwrites the signal lost. Okay, so I'm just gonna call him like this. And then I'm going to bring up this. Miscellaneous options. Come on, 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 come on. Come on. There we go. Okay, we keep spamming this. We keep spamming this. We keep spamming this. Keep spamming it. Keep spamming it. Oh, this is so glitchy. What is going on? <gasps> no. Oh, my days. We still can't get away with that. Resets in... Arrgh. No, we can't get away from it. We can't get away from it. That was so weird. The TV was like blurring across the entire screen. Oh my gosh, that is so weird. What? But we passed the mission and we didn't see him die, so I guess. I mean, I'm not too sure what you guys think, but from what I've seen and what we've just done, I guess we did technically save him because we didn't see him die, even though the mission carried on as if he did die, but we didn't see him die, so technically we saved Jay Norris. But I would love to know your thoughts in the comments section below. Unfortunately, that is all the time I have for you guys today. But if you did enjoy today's episode, please, please, please don't leave without smashing that thumbs up button. It would, of course, be greatly appreciated. Let me know in the comments below exactly what you guys would like to see me do next. Uh, it could be any idea, literally anything. So just comment it in the comments section below. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you guys are new here as well, so you don't miss out on awesome stuff like this on a daily basis. But guys, my name is Nort. Thank you so much for watching, and stay absolutely awesome. I'll see you guys next time.